Hello, welcome back to BC Gardening on the West Coast now. Here I'm in my garden and we're looking at some squash today. Now, uh, if you want to grow squash, like different varieties of zucchini, it's really easy. I plant a whole bunch in different rows and as the package says, uh, you know, usually you use to space them a lot, you don't. You can put them in rows that are about two feet apart like that, you see? And then you can plant the plants, you know, every uh, four to six inches and you see you get a big plant. Because I don't like uh, big zucchini anyways and I like to pick them relatively quickly. But I've been away for a few days and here I'll show you how big they get really quickly. Now these are two uh, yellow crook neck uh, squash. They're like a, similar to a zucchini uh, but not quite. I do have z yellow zucchini I'll show you. And how do you pick them? Well quite simply, usually just twisting the zucchini uh, works. You just grab it like that, give it a little twist. Just keep twisting it nicely. So it breaks off with some of the stem still on there. It's usually what you want. Sometimes you use a little bit longer of a stem. Let's grab this one, twist it off. Let's see how it works. Just twist it. Oh, sometimes they take a few twists to break off, but it works. Wow, this guy's really on there. Okay, come off. Okay, there we go. So you got a part of the stem there. That's what you want. Two big crook neck zucchini. Let's go around and see what else we have. We have some green zucchinis over here. And the plants, they'll just keep growing out to the side. So when you pick the zucchinis, they'll grow more. See, there's a beautiful one. And this is the size that I like to pick them, actually. Here's a green zucchini. Just give it a twist, and it breaks off like that. You don't really want it to break off like that, but uh, that's okay. It dries out, and it lasts in the fridge quite a while. Let's throw that one over here. And then over here, we have some uh, patty pan or scallop squash. Uh, these are a uh, nice one. Usually I like to pick them, you know, sooner than this, so you can just break them off. Oh, come back and get those ones. Because I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> Here's another one. This is actually a good size to pick the yellow crookneck squash. So just twist them off. Because you don't want them to get too big if you're going to be just eating them. If you're baking them in other foods, you can let them get bigger. And then it'll be uh, fine. There you go. And let's go further down here. Here's another zucchinis. You see how big they get so fast. They leave for a day or two and they're big. So pick them when they're small. Because they taste better. They work great in stir fries and everything. They, they have a great taste. There, that's what you want. See I just twisted it and how I broke the stem off at the base of the plant. Comes off really well. Let's get this other big one here. Oh yeah, that's getting too big. So you know what we do with these big ones here? We make chocolate zucchini cake. Oh man, it's so good. My wife makes it, has a chocolate uh, coffee flavored icing on it. You put walnuts, it's beautiful. Okay, come on, there we go. Oh, I got a long stem there. Look at that, once they get a little bit bigger, they start getting harder. Most of the time they're only good for baking by that time or um, putting in desserts like uh, chocolate zucchini bread, chocolate zucchini cake. They really help to moisten up whatever you're cooking. Down here we actually have some yellow zucchinis. So this is a yellow zucchini. See it looks just like a zucchini but it's yellow. So it's beautiful in food. Now this one still has a crooked neck. Let's see if we can break this one off nicely just to twisting it. There you go. You see the whole uh, stem comes off that way if you just twist the plant. There's another one. This is a better sized one for eating. The other one's a better size for baking. Do the twist. And bam, you got it. Whoa. Now you see when you plant them close like this, and you just keep, the plants will usually have one or two zucchinis on at a time. And if you keep picking them, they'll keep making more zucchinis. So don't be afraid if you have a small garden to plant all different kinds of zucchinis. You see I have, um, you know, small space here, but tons of different zucchinis. So have fun gardening next year. Plant a whole bunch of zucchini plants close together on a small hill, about two feet apart, and you'll get a ton of beautiful zucchinis like that next year. Good luck gardening.